Well, we're not in my shop, obviously, and we're not in John's shop. Um, we're kind of in the middle of something else. This is one that kind of fell in our laps at the last minute, and uh, not really a whole lot of explanation here, so we're just going to show you what we got. This is a 1978 Nova four-door. It's called a Nova Custom. It's a special package they had. This is a 305 with a 350 turbo transmission. And got a few goodies on the motor. She pretty, boy. And it was a basket case when I first got it. Whoo, you it are did, not lying. It did look like this when I got it. <laughs> and you got long tube headers, a new alternator, AC compressor, GPS high rise intake and the air conditioning stuff inside of here is all brand new heater stuff is there's so much shiny under yeah. the hood man god it looks great we'll make it make the good sounds in a few minutes here all the way around i put new weather stripping around the windows and the trunk lid we put new weather stripping around it and what have we got left colin uh, I know we've got a transmission leak that we need to address, and I believe brakes. I mean, this just to get the car to move, right? Okay, so I was absolutely amazed at how far this car had come. Long story short, this car was in... The trunk? Yeah, the whole car was basically <laughs> in the trunk. Um, the car had been completely stripped down to bare metal, and that's how John got it. My original purpose in painting it, it was a rattle can paint job. Yep. So it's a, where's the can right? Yeah, let's get them cans. Yeah. Yeah, I'll take one, you take the other. <laughs> yeah. The turbo cans. Turbo cans. <laughs> they work pretty good. They do. Um, I did see it. Uh, we're gonna have like a picture slide. We'll have a slideshow. Yeah, thumbnails up to this point. Yeah, because um, we honestly had no intentions of doing a video on this car uh, until it was done. It's it's took up a lot of time, especially for John. Um, I've come over here when I can after work to try and help him knock some of this out. But he painted the whole car with these, and I'm not gonna lie to you, it came out great. It looks great. It really does. It turned out better than I thought it was going to. I mean, he For painted it with he painted it with the brown uh, primer, and it was gloss black to the top. The brown primer made it look like a turd on wheels. It was hilarious, um, but the black really actually came out great. I mean, it's I mean you can see it. I mean, it looks good. The car's kind of dusty right now. We've been doing all kinds of stuff in here, but can't wait to rip this thing, dude. This is gonna be fun. I mean, yeah, it's a 305 with a turbo 350 in it, but I'll still be able to lay some rubber with it. We're gonna try. Oh, yeah. All right, it's picture time. So as you can see, all these body panels have been stripped down to bare metal. And before these pictures were taken, all these panels, doors, and hoods were leaning on the walls of this shop and had to be reinstalled on the car. John and his dad made sure that all these body panels were straight, that all the doors were hanging like they were supposed to be. And then they had to get it prepped and ready for primer. After spending a lot of time getting everything lined up, they finally got to lay some primer on the car, as you can see here. They used the brown primer because their top coat was going to be a dark color. Once they got primer put on, they then hit it with the Rust-Oleum turbo cans in gloss black, and this came out amazing. The paint job is super clean. Once they got done there, they started drying in the car to get it prepped to drive home. There's the windshield, all the door glasses in. And at this point, John was ready to take it home. Okay, here we go. Maiden voyage, attempt number two. Yeah. You always hook the battery cable up first. Yeah. yeah. Runs better when the battery's hooked okay. up. And if you want to go back, just put it in reverse. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! All right, John, what are you tearing up now? Hooking up a thermostat from a radiator fan. A thermostat temperature sensor here. 
Got the positive hooked up over there. And this is actually what breaks the ground. So that'll cut the fans on and off. Cool. So it's a simple setup. So if you ever have to do a, all like a, a road repair, it's easy to fix. You all can right. Bypass it easily. So you're replacing this because it overheated? Yeah. They weren't kicking on like they should. They had an aftermarket setup on it. And I, I wanted to put a setup on it. I knew how it worked. I don't want somebody else's wiring done. I, <laughs> I, don't, I don't know how to fix it if I'm on, on the road somewhere. Right. Put it back together and start it up. Okay, John, you ready for me to start it? Yep, let's test it. Hey, uh, I might need a key. There we go. We got action. That makes me happy. Being about 150 at the radiator, 145. It's steadily dropping. Alright, the fans are working. I don't know if you can see it from here, but they are turning like they're supposed to. We still got a lot of work ahead of us, but it does run. And it's not overheating now, so I think we still have to put in some kind of overflow tank because there is not currently one on this car. So, but uh, you want to maybe maybe take it down the road a little bit? Yeah, let's take it around there. Please. Let's go. All right. Are you all prepped up, and ready for the first run? Yeah, I'm up to date on my life insurance. What about you? you got your tetanus shot too. No, but after this, I'll probably get up to date on it. As you can see, the rest of the interior is technically in the car, just yeah. just not where it's supposed to be yet, but we're going to get to that eventually. As you see, we need a little steering wheel alignment. Yeah, she does need a bit of an alignment, just a hair. But I don't think that's the top list on our priorities right now. Nope. But it runs and drives, and she sounds great. You'll see if that beamer wants to race. <laughs> I think one of my biggest hurdles in fixing this thing is going to be putting the rest of the air box together to sink the floorboard. You're probably right, because, uh... Yeah, because I'm even taking it apart. Yeah. So we've got to put all this back in there, get all this situated. Yeah, it was funny. Me and John's dad actually spent a lot of time getting the, the engine bay side of the AC and all that in place and uh, that was an adventure because none of us took this car apart. So we had to figure out what went where, um, constantly Googling stuff. Man, we wore Google out with this car together. Yeah, and a lot of stuff is not detailed enough to put it back together. But not detailed enough anyway. No, not detailed enough for us. Because we just kind of guessed and Maybe it'll work once we finish getting the hook back together. We don't know yet. Until then, though, we got this, uh, this 260 air conditioner. And hopefully dreams for heat. Yeah, really. I think we're one step closer to actually driving this thing down the road. I mean, technically, we're driving it down the road right now. Yeah. A little further than just driving it over there. A little faster? Yeah. I like that idea. Who knows? Maybe we'll be driving this bad boy to Ohio. That'd be cool. Take okay. this up there and then go get the van. So we got a 78 and a 79 yeah. <laughs> driving back. Mechanically, this one will be brand new when I get done with it. You're not wrong. Looks and smells like success. <laughs> yeah, that it does. So you got the cooling fans hooked up. Everything works now. It's not overheating anymore. The car is drivable now. So what's next? Brakes, exhaust, alignment, and heat and air conditioner will come later. But a laundry list of stuff. Laundry list. I can't. I can't even figure out what I'm gonna say next. But yeah, <laughs> there's a bunch of stuff to be done on this car. We still got to put the front clip back on. Yeah. I'm good with it. I mean, it sounds good. It runs good. It looks good. I mean, just everything about it is is cool, man. Like, and a lot of people crap all over this car just because it's not like a you know, yeah, early like Nova. Extra two doors back in the back. I mean. You know what they say about four doors. Yeah. <laughs> I think this is going to be a fun one. And I think this was a great way to start 
dive into uh, bigger vehicles other than mini bikes and go-karts. There will be a bunch of different vehicles. There will. Because, um, like I said before in a previous video when we were talking about the step van, the only way to move up is to move on. And that's what we're doing. I mean, we'll still play around with go-karts and stuff every once in a while, specifically at, like, Busco. But, like, as far as the channel, you know, we'll occasionally pick at that stuff. But this is going to be where it's at. Stuff like this and the van and whatever else we decide to dig up off of Facebook Marketplace. <laughs> if I can spray paint it, we will build it. Hey, I'm with that. All right, so to see more on the Nova, the van, and anything else we got going on, make sure you like and subscribe. Also, use the links in the description to pick up a t-shirt from Mini Bike Apparel or a Rattle Can Customs t-shirt from Stover Customs. And until next time, y'all get up, get out there, and get after it.